Hello there, today we will explain the second part of the Harry Potter series. If you didn't watch the first part, don't worry the video link is available in the description. The movie begins in Dursley's house. We see Harry Potter who was worried because he does not get any mail from his friends Ron and Hermione. On his 12th birthday, which was held on July 31st, when Harry comes back to his room he sees a house elf named, Dobby, who tells Harry that returning to Hogwarts will put his life in danger. Dobby's warning is ignored by Harry who is determined to return to Hogwarts as he loves to be there. It is revealed that Dobby had been collecting Harry's letters in order to make it appear as though his friends have forgotten him in the hopes that Harry will not want to return to Hogwarts. Dobby realizing that he will have to use magic to stop him from going to Hogwarts decides to smash a huge cake that Aunt Petunia has bought for an important dinner party for Vernon Dursley's boss and his wife. The Ministry of Magic blames Harry for Dobby's spell and warns him that if he practices magic outside of school again he will be expelled. When the Dursleys realize that Harry cannot practice magic outside of school they lock Harry's books and wand away and Vernon Dursley puts bars on his bedroom window trapping Harry as a prisoner. A few days later Fred George and Ron Weasley arrive in their father's magical car to save him and take Harry to their house. After spending a day at the Weasley family everyone travels to platform for Hogwarts to take the Hogwarts Express back to school. To their surprise, Harry and Ron are unable to pass over the barrier that separates platforms 9 and 10. In desperation they fly to Hogwarts smashing with the whooping willow and breaking Ron's wand. Their car ejects them and their things before disappearing into the forest. Harry quickly discovers that he is the unwanted center of three people's attention. The first one is the egotistical new defense against the dark arts professor Gilderoy Lockhart, second is Harry's admirer Colin Creevy who want to take his pictures and finally Ron's sister Ginny Weasley who likes Harry. When the Chamber of Secrets is unlocked, something haunts the castle with the potential to practically petrify many students. According to mythology Salazar Slytherin established the chamber which can only be opened by his heir. In order to get rid of Hogwarts of students who are not pure blood wizards, many people believe Harry is the heir of Slytherin, especially when he accidentally speaks Parseltongue, the language of snakes, a rare skill Harry acquired during Voldemort's violent attack on him when he was a child. Harry, Ron and Hermione set out to learn about the heir of Slytherin. Using Polyjuice Potion they disguise themselves as Slytherin students Crab and Goyle. Intending to uncover the identity of the prince from Draco Malfoy. However, they find Draco does not know who the prince of Slytherin is but he does provide Harry and Ron with a key hint about the Chamber of Secrets unintentionally. Unfortunately Hermione stole off Millicent Bolstrode's uniform was from a cat and also because the Polyjuice Potion is only designed for human transformations. She takes on a cat look. It takes her almost a month to return to her usual human form. She was discharged from a hospital wing in early February and a regular look was restored. The attacks become frequent during the year, scaring more students, including Hermione. Furthermore a note scrawled on a wall says that Jenny Weasley has been taken into the chamber where her skeleton will lie forever. Harry discovers the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets with the assistance of Ron and Moaning Merle. They convince Gilderoy Lockhart to assist them. But they don't know that he is a liar who wipes away other wizards' memories and claims their accomplishments. When they find the chamber's entrance Lockhart tries to use Ron's broken wand to erase Harry and Ron's memories but the spell backfires on him, causing the ceiling to collapse. Lockhart awakes but he has lost his memory. Harry gets separated from Ron. The Harry makes it to the chamber where he discovers Ginny unconscious. He also encounters Tom Riddle, a young guy who claims to be a memory of Lord Voldemort. Harry discovers that Ginny who is under Lord Voldemort's control opened the chamber. It is revealed that Voldemort's actual name is Tom Marvalo Riddle. He imprinted his memories in an enchanted notebook in order to one day complete the work he began 50 years ago when he opened the chamber to clear Hogwarts of non-pure blood witches and wizards. Hagrid a Hogwarts student at the time was made responsible for the attacks and expelled. Tom Riddle's memory gets stronger as it snatches Ginny's life and seeks to murder Harry by releasing a basilisk, the monster responsible for petrifying the students. However Professor Dumbledore's Phoenix Fox comes carrying the sorting hat from which Harry takes the sword of Godric Gryffindor. 
Fox blinds the basilisk removing its deadly gaze and Harry slays it with the sword. Harry's arm has been punctured by the basilisk's fong while attempting to kill it. Harry stabs the diary with one of the basilisk teeth, erasing Riddle's memory. As Ginny awakens from her near-death state, Harry appears to be dying fast for the venom but Fox arrives to cure him with his tears. Phoenix tears have healing power. Ginny and Harry fully recover and carried back to school by Fox. Harry recalls meeting with the Weasleys in a Diagon Alley bookshop. He knows it was Draco Malfoy's father Lucius Malfoy who put the diary into Ginny's cauldron but he is unable to prove it. Dobby confesses that he is the Malfoy servant and that knowing of their treachery, he has been trying to protect Harry for the past year. Harry thanks Lucius for putting one of his old socks inside the journal. Dobby catches the journal after Lucius throws it away and discovers the sock inside its pages. In Dobby's opinion this is a gift from his master. In the traditional method in which a master frees a house cell from service. Dobby, now free expresses his lifelong affection for Harry and defends him from Lucius's attack. Dumbledore clears up Harry's fears that he may have been placed in Slytherin rather than Gryffindor by telling him that it is his choice not his ability to define him and that Harry could not have held the Gryffindor sword if he did not truly belong to that house. Here the movie ends. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more videos like this.